What's new? Yeah. You having fun? For my mouse, and if you guys are curious about my mouse, I'm gonna link it right below. Oh, hello, guys, how are you? My name is David Franco, and welcome to the weekend of Lock and Vlog. I can't wait to go to Driftwood. About that, let's talk. Driftwood, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, Driftwood's not happening, guys. At least it's not happening this weekend. I'm sorry. I really hate telling you that because I know a lot of people look forward to my Driftwood videos. Uh, but it just didn't work out because... Look at this. It's not raining right now, but apparently it's going to rain a lot this weekend. And... Come on. Do you blame us? Camping in the rain, as you can probably guess, is not fun. We've done it before, as you've probably seen in my past vlogs. And there's just not a lot to do. The whole point of camping is being outside, cooking on the grill, going on walks, um, swimming occasionally, bike rides, just relaxing outside. <clears throat> just got done talking a lot on Twitch. Shout out to this dude. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna link him right below. He's a really cool dude. His his audio is incredible, and he plays a lot of Stardew Valley. His farm looks a lot better than mine. But he's made more progress in the game. I'm just now finishing up year one. Anyway, so yes, um, Driftwood, it's not happening this weekend. Kind of worked out in a way because I'm glad to stay home tonight and stream on Twitch again. Uh, but tomorrow, I will be going back to New Jersey anyway because it's Chris's birthday party tomorrow. Dude, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you had a good one. And of course, I cannot wait to see you and everyone tomorrow. Actually, this time tomorrow, I should be on the road. It's already 2 o'clock. I kind of started the vlog late because I wanted to get my Twitch stream done. Um, so tomorrow, I should be vlogging at the party. I don't see why not. And you can still see smoke -a dope You can see the uh, pets here, the parental. So I might, I might drive back here tomorrow night. It depends if I drink or not. If I'm drinking, then obviously I'm going to stay safe and stay there. Um, but if I'm not drinking, there's a good chance I might drive back here at like midnight. Why not guys? Well because I'm definitely a late night driver. I like it, you know, when there's, I just like when there's no traffic. It's just easier to get around and I, I think it's safer that way. Uh, but then again, if it's raining, I don't want to drive in the rain at night. That sucks. So I don't know. We'll see guys. Let's just play it by ear. So anyway, I'm going to do my intro again because I feel like I just threw a bunch of information at you. Hello guys. How are you? David Franke here from davidfran.co or davidstwitch.com, a brand new domain. Brand new domain, go there and see what happens. And click that follow button, please. And please, please, turn on alerts. Alerts make a huge difference. They do exactly what you think they would do. They let you know when I sign on because I stream pretty much every day. But Sunday. Sunday is the day of rest. Now, in my case, it's the day of editing. Editing these vlogs takes a long time. Because, well, come on. This guy's not going to do it, right? Hi, Maui. Hi. Watching this dude play Stardew is making me want to play Stardew, even though I just wrapped up a three-hour stream. Three-hour stream is not bad, considering I just started my day. Okay, um, so today is June 1st. Happy June, everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying your start to your um, summer break. Because let's face it, a lot of you in college are done. You're done. Congrats. Enjoy your time off. Enjoy your relaxation, because you worked hard these past two semesters, right? Well, I hope so. I hope so. You deserve it. Kick back, relax, open a beer, and just have some fun. All right, with that said, today is June 1st, as I just made very clear. I need to do some traffic reports for, for a client. I do have a big project in the works. Um, I, gave, I gave my patrons a preview. Speaking of patrons, i got to publish a patrons-only vlog. Once again, over an hour long. Very cool, very cool. Um, so this past week was very productive for me. I'm basically in the process of purchasing an existing website from someone, actually two people. So uh, yeah, that website's being purchased. I'm claiming the content, the domain, and even the Twitter handle, all for a pretty good price. And this is actually a goal of mine I wanted to do, I think for maybe 2017. It's just something I never got around to doing. But let me tell you, the .com that's coming along with this purchase is worth it alone. 
the .com is incredible. It's going to be amazing for SEO, search engine optimization. That's basically what determines your search rank on you know, sites like Google, uh, Bing, Yahoo, and blah, 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 all that stuff. Um, I'm not ready to unveil the site yet. It's technically live, but I'm redoing the site. I'm doing it my way. Um, and I'm doing it in a way that's going to benefit you guys greatly. Um, but I'll talk about that in the future. Okay, let's make today a productive day. Got to do the traffic reports. Got to publish the pages only on blog to blog. Got to respond to those people in, in regards to buying the website because I could pay them as early as today. I got, I got, I got paid this week, so why not send some of that money their way and get this process expedited? And speaking of expedited or non-expedited, in this case, because it took like two weeks to get here, I have shit arriving today. Shit products. Um, it's the shit stack. It's the Modi 2 and the Magni 3. Brand new amp, brand new DAC. So in theory, my Sennheiser HE650s are going to finally output the audio that they deserve to output. Because up until today, I've been using the E10K uh, DAC. It's okay. Some kid just went by in a scooter, like an old-fashioned scooter. Um, it's an okay DAC, but it deserves to not be in my desk because the 650s were expensive headphones. And to use expensive headphones with a cheap DAC, it's kind of a sin. It really is kind of a sin. Uh, so I'm looking very forward to unboxing both of those products today for you guys. I thought about recording a separate video, but no, I want to make these weekend vlogs somewhat interesting, so stay tuned. <clears throat> I need water again. All that talking kills me, but I love it. Thank you for your support. Patrons, enjoy Memorial Day Parade, aka your newest exclusive vlog, is now live. There you go. Enjoy. And for you non-patrons, here's a little preview. Yes, I did indeed capture the parade, which was a lot of fun for me. Got some music here, right here. Give it a second. Pretty cool, right? Gotta support your local community. Got more over here. Very Lancaster. And over here. Is there a Boy Scouts, maybe? Hey, it was a good time. Good week, good week. That car. Love it. These people were close to the camera. So cool. They have no idea they're on YouTube now. And that's okay. Alright. David's Patreon campaign.com. Yes, all of the exclusive vlogs can be found on that website. Just click on exclusive vlogs and check it out. Over 160 of them. 160. Guys, that's a lot of exclusive content. That's hours upon hours of vlogs for just $5 a month. That's all. Going way down here, let's click on a random one. How about Barely Home? This is back when I actually used to work with my dad a lot. Not so much nowadays. Click play and boom. This one was actually pretty short because I wasn't really home all that much. But still, 40 minutes? That's not bad. But then again, this was when? 2016, yeah. Nowadays, pretty much every single exclusive vlog is at least an hour long. Yep, still watching that dude play Stardew Valley. That's very he loves to sing. And no, I still have not had lunch. I definitely need lunch. I need food. I'm heavily considering going to Target tonight to get some Pizza Hut Express. Because I will say, I had a pepperoni pizza with breadsticks, what was it, Tuesday night at Target? So good, so good. And that means a lot because I recently had Pizza Hut before that, but it was a full pie. And I don't know, there's something about the personal pan pizzas, in my opinion, they're so much better than a fully fledged pizza. They're just saucier, um, it just feels more fresh. Is it just me? Is it just me? So yeah, the point of this clip is to just tell you, if you think you don't like Pizza Hut, give it another try at a Pizza Hut Express. In my opinion, it's better, it's better. And there's a really, really good chance I'm gonna do that tonight. All right, time to do these traffic reports. First of the month, guys. First of the month. Gotta stay busy. The last house on the left. I love this remake so much. It's got quite a disturbing scene if you're easily offended. 
But man, what a good movie. I love this movie. And look what arrived. I don't know how long it's been off front because, in my opinion, UPS is a lot better than FedEx. But here you go. Everything finally arrived from FedEx. My amp and my DAC. I'm hyped. But of course, I'm making lunch first. Simple lunch. Just waiting for that water to boil. Butter and herb. Fettuccine in a delicate butter flavored and herb sauce. Or as people around the world like to say, herb. Yes, that H is indeed silent in America. But, fun fact, as a kid who loved Resident Evil, I would always say herb. And then one day I just learned, I was like, oh, it's herb. I don't know, I find that to be interesting. God, I'm hungry! Alright, so after lunch, and after I'm done the traffic reports, I will unbox both of these products. Yeah, as hyped as I am about these, I gotta be honest, shipping was very slow. I ordered this stuff maybe, what, last Tuesday? Unfortunately, you can't get shit products on Amazon. I don't know why. I'm not sure why. I mean, in my opinion, you'd probably... I'm saying that a lot, in my opinion. Anyway, IMO, you would sell a lot more product on Amazon than having to go through your actual website because I had to wait at least 10 days for this stuff to arrive. 10 days in 2018? Right? Maui knows. We're spoiled by Amazon. Amazon for the win. Regardless, I'm excited to open this. How did I forget sure? Aaron Paul's in this? Wait for yeah, it. No, no, hey, 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 hey. Come on, right there. That's Good Jesse from Breaking Bad. How did I forget Aaron Paul was in this? My memory is failing me. And I love this movie. I'm taking a quick break from the house, the last house on the left. So for a while now, my washer has been giving me issues. And it just finally kind of bit the big one, but I don't think it's dead. I don't think it's dead. It's just experiencing problems. So for the longest time, I've been trying to get out the strip screw because somebody decided to strip the screw and it just wouldn't work. However, tip for you, if you cannot get a strip screw out, at least on an appliance, I don't recommend it to on like any kind of technology because it could damage it. Wedge the screwdriver into the screw, right? And then hammer the screwdriver into the screw and it'll actually lodge itself into place and just turn it slowly and boom it comes off. So anyway, long story short, I got the cover off. I thought maybe the pipe was clogged, which, or the uh, hose rather, which by the way I cannot find the hose. But then I saw this. Check it out. Looks like the belt snapped. I'm assuming that's the belt. It must go in here, right? Huh. And maybe over there? So perhaps I can fix this myself. I just gotta look into it. I would much, much rather do this myself than pay someone. What is this? A gum wrapper? <sighs> anyway, finally got the washer open. Now I just gotta figure out how to fix this. I am definitely a DIY kind of person. I like to do it myself. I don't like to pay others to do work that I can do myself. I mean, come on, let's face it. A job like this could be at least a couple hundred dollars, but if I do it, I don't know, maybe less than 20 bucks. I have, I have no idea. I have no idea what goes into wash or repair. But from what I can tell, it seems to be a simple fix. And come on, that's why it's no longer turning, right? It tries to turn, but it's not turning anymore. And that has to be the cause of it. Time to do some research. You know what, hold on, hold on. I'll deal with you later. Let's unbox some shit. Okay, so this is not the best angle. You guys are currently sitting on Maui's tower. Maui, say hello. He's chilling. All right, here we go. Let's unbox some shit. No, that's not me cursing. The company's literally called Shit. I'll link him right below. And there's actually a funny story behind it. And I believe the website actually features this story. All right. Very neatly packaged, I gotta say. And it's very eco-friendly packaging, apparently. That's what I've read online, or it's what I've heard in YouTube videos. So this is the shit stack. It's a very popular duo amongst YouTubers and streamers and all that stuff. And, well, obviously I'll be using this for uh, Twitch. All right, there you go. The Shit Modi 3. No, I'm sorry. Got my things mixed up. Shit Modi 2 Uber. I'm going with Uber because it includes extra ports. Why not? 
and the Schitt's Magni 3. So boom, boom, let's open them and let's stack them. First of all, move water bottle. First of all, let's get rid of this. This is what I'm currently using, the Fio, Fio, whatever, E10K, E10K. It's an okay DAC. It's done its job. It's the Olympus too, if you want to be specific. Uh, but it costs about $80, which is nothing for a DAC. And it's, I don't know, it's worked for the most part. Now, unfortunately, I say for the most part, for a very good reason, a very important reason, I should say. Occasionally, maybe like once a week, maybe even sometimes twice a week, I'll just completely lose audio. Completely. Hey guys, it's definitely a driver issue. It's not a hardware issue, it's a driver issue. I don't know if it's Windows or the E110, or the E10K, whatever. It doesn't matter now because I'm getting rid of it. Well, I'm putting it in my drawer, you know, for my spare tech in case I need it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's done its job, but when it does freeze up, when I take out the headphones, my PC completely locks up. I don't just lose audio. My PC completely freezes and it drives me crazy. How would you feel if you were streaming on Twitch for hours at a time and then boom, just like that, you lose audio for no apparent reason. And then you have to restart the stream because you have to restart your PC. Just another reason why I want to get a, no, build a streaming PC sometime in the summer. Um, literally a PC dedicated to streaming and nothing else but streaming and recording gameplay. But I'll talk about that late June, early July. So here we go. Let's say goodbye to the E10K. I do see myself using this again at some point, like as a backup deck, just not anytime soon. Look how easily that comes out too. All right, Ugh. goodbye deck. It's so tiny too, I mean, it's kind of a portable deck, so that's why it's so small. But still, I cannot recommend this with 100% confidence. If you're on a budget, sure, no problem. But just keep in mind, you might have the same driver issues that I did. This is the Modi, Modi 2 Uber. Keep in mind, you probably don't have to go for the Uber, but me being me, I like more. I mean, why have less when you get out more? And plus, you never know what my future plans might entail in terms of my setup, so why not go the extra mile? It's like, $50 extra? It could be worth it. Wow, all right. First impressions, build quality. This is delightfully heavy. That's a good way to put it. Where's my battery? All right, we're good, we're good. Wow, all right, Modi 2, we got that brushed aluminum look, which will look great on my white desk. That's gonna be actually a little tough to focus. There you go. Very nice. We got a little uh, button on the front, which could sound better in my opinion, but in theory, I'm not gonna be pushing it that often. And on the back, we've got uh, all the audio, including optical. That's exactly the way I got it. You never know if I'll need optical in the future. So I figured, why not? Oh, and it's made in the USA. Very cool. Respect. So there you go. The Modi 2 Uber. And in this box, we have power adapter. Kind of big. I think it should be smaller. And I know I'm not the only one to say that because I've seen other people on YouTube saying, why is this power adapter so big? But hey, it is what it is. Once it's plugged in, you forget about it. All right, next up. And I wasn't kidding when I said very eco-friendly packaging. So let's move on to the next one. You do get a manual, by the way, which I don't think I mentioned right there. This is not Apple packaging, that's for sure. And speaking of Apple, yes, WWDC 2018 is on Monday. I'm hyped. All right, Magni 3. There's the manual. Manual who? I'm here all weekend, guys. Actually, technically I'm not. I'm in Jersey tomorrow. And the Magni 3. Here you go, guys. Here you go. Very nice. We got high and low on the back. I'll probably have that on high. Uh, right there. Boom. Audio connections. Power over there. And on the front, we do have uh, level. Which I will be finding myself using quite often. And, of course, your audio connection on the front which is actually a great point because I no longer have to use this adapter. I can just plug the uh, speaker in directly because it's the larger size connection. Very nice, all right. Enough blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna get this set up and let you guys know how it sounds. 
But please, keep in mind, I'm not an audiophile. I just appreciate good audio, and I appreciate good hardware. <clears throat> this damn cough! Alright, alright, alright! I hear it, I hear it, I do! <laughs> There's a lot of uh, trial and error. <laughs> I finally got it working. I, I hear it, I do. The sound stage sounds larger. It's bassier too. Like it's it's pushing more. Huh. Very interesting. Alright. Wow for the night. This is a true test. You guys can't hear it, but let me just wait till I get to the bass. You guys can see my reaction. There it is. It's not bad. I'll I'll, I'll explain the problems I ran into. Yo, <laughs> Snoot, dude, if you're watching, thank you. This sounds really good. This sounds really good. It does. It does. I, I, guys, I have proper audio hardware. Good headphones, good amp, good DAC. This is how it should be. Here it comes. It's definitely louder. All right, all right. That's good, that's good. Dude, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yo. Very cool. Okay, so the problems I ran into, first of all, Windows wouldn't see um, it at all. I was plugged in via USB, uh, but then I saw someone else say in a forum or Reddit, I don't know, somewhere, I guess directly into your motherboard, they said, um, Windows has some kind of weird bug with it. Imagine that. Freaking Windows! So I try to plug it into like a PCI card, and that's what I did. Thankfully, I have a PCI card, and it worked right away. Well, it saw it right away. It wasn't working right away. It saw it in the source. So I was like, okay, good, good, problem solved. Then I wasn't getting any audio. Well, the uh, DAC didn't automatically switch to um, USB because this actually uses USB, optical, and coaxial. So be sure it's on the right input source. So for ex or output in this case, actually. Input, yeah, because this is inputting, then this is outputting, then this is outputting. So, oh wow, it actually gets a little warm. And yes, I purposely put this one up top because that's where the uh, air vent is. This one does not have a vent on the bottom, or the uh, top, rather. Okay, so anyway, USB, um, optical, coaxial. Boom, done, headphones. And now this is really nice in the future when I do get new headphones, not if, when I do get new headphones because, I mean... I love these, but I will be switching back and forth, you know, just experimenting since I'm taking audio more seriously. I just bada bing, bada boom, plug them in, so. Yes, I am quite happy with my purchase, and I officially uninstalled Peace on Windows. Peace, for those who don't know, and probably only two or three of you knows, I didn't even know until like weeks ago. Uh, Peace is a software EQ, which basically simulates, you know, effects. Um, and I had mine doing bass boost and a little bit of... Um, alterations I guess you could say but cool so piece is gone and now I have a proper amp doing its job I have a proper doc or DAC doing its job man I, I, I can't talk today so there you go pain in the ass to connect I mean shit come on listen up I love you guys this is my first time being a customer but why are your power bricks so damn big at least make the bricks separate from the plug itself because you just completely messed up my cable management down there Completely messed it up because of the big ass power bricks. What, what, what is this? 1996? No, at least put the power bricks somewhere in the middle like the Wii had or the Xbox One, the previous Xbox Ones. And just, just saying, just saying. Put some uh, pride behind the cable portions of your products. Uh, but besides that, they're working great. They look great. They sound great. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, now can I get back to my movie. Yes, I haven't finished it yet. I have like 40 minutes left. That's literally all I wanted to do was hook him up. Of course, doing so took a lot longer than expected, but it is what it is. That comes with the territory of being a tech geek, right? Does it not? Does it not? Does it not? All right, so you know where this is going, right? This is my old deck. It's going in there with everything else. My old mouse, my Astros, all that stuff. Who dat? Who dat? Danny Manouk. A video. Hmm. Oh, it's probably his new audio stuff. Yep, we both just happened to get new audio equipment today. Gotta love audio. Again, I'm no audiophile, but I definitely appreciate 
good audio. The days of using shitty headphones and headsets and DACs, they're behind me. Look at this dude! Yes, I was cleaning before. All right, I need coffee, and then I am going to head out to Target soon. I need food. The pretzels are not gonna be here until at least 7, 7.30. And this time tomorrow, I should be in Jersey. All right, it's getting late. It's already 7.11. Just watered the plants outside. Fed the cat outside. He's looking good. Not that you guys can see him, but I did take a picture. Hold on. Act like you care. Sorry. As I tried to do face ID with my camera blocking. Oh, by the way, speaking of face ID, last week, no, Monday, no, wait, Saturday, I was wearing the, um... America sunglasses, I guess I guess you could call them that. And Face ID still recognized me, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, photos, check it out. There's the cat waiting for me. Just chilling. Let's see the other pictures I have here. Maui? You know, Goki? Yo, this Jurassic Park game on PC is insane. Look at that, it's beautiful. Animation's a little wanky, but the presentation is very cool, and it's free. Look it up. Also, I'm happy to announce that I received my largest payout yet on Twitch yesterday, and this payout, gotta be honest, is not that far off from what I make on YouTube. Not exactly Patreon. I make a lot more on Patreon than I do YouTube, which tells you something. Patreon, oof. Crowdfunding is the future, at least in terms of content creation. But yeah, Twitch, I can't give specifics, but I will say this, just to motivate you and inspire you. My most recent payout from Twitch was between $500 and $1,000. Telling you guys, you put the work in, you get rewarded back. You gotta put the work in, you gotta put the time in, you gotta put the patience in. Keep working on something, and you will see results over time. Okay, okay, so this is not a Pizza Hut Express bag. <laughs> they were closed. Between like 7, 7.30 on a Friday night. Target, what's up with that? People like me love pizza on a Friday night. What the hell? So, it is what it is, I know, I know. It's wor worst problems in the world, but I was like really craving that pizza today. Maybe I'll get it again on Tuesday when I get it at Target. Anyway, I got sheets. It's not all bad, guys. It's not all bad. And I got Chris's birthday card at Target. So there you go. Boom. He really likes dinosaurs, like T-Rex and whatever, so I got him a dinosaur card. Uh, so from sheets, I got a side of Wisconsin cheese bites, which are amazing at sheets. I love them. And I got a mac and cheese platter. A platter, which I think could maybe use a little more food. But let's see, let's see. It's the Boom Chicka Wow or whatever it's called. Um, it's basically spicy chicken with mac and cheese. What the? You know what it's like trying to do everything with one hand as a vlogger? Drives me absolutely crazy. Anyway, there you go. Actually, there's a little more mac and cheese there than it seems because it kind of sinks on the bottom. But I've had this before. It's very good. Very, very good. Plus, spicy chicken. Come on! What else did I get? Oh. My side of marinara is in here, right? Yeah. I got milk at Target, coffee at Sheets, which was free because they were brewing a new one, so the dude was like, that's free. I'm like, okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, appreciate that. And that's it. Wasn't an exciting Target trip. It's really an excuse to go to Pizza Express, but that's okay. It's okay. There will be a next time. Hello, Father. Yo. What are you doing? Number one, you don't need a GFI over here. Why? Because there's no water over here. Oh, is that why GFIs exist? Just yeah. b because of water damage? No, because any path to, to, to any path to ground will trip the GFI. So in other words, if you have a cord and, you, and it falls in the water, it trips it. Okay, if I had to guess, GFI ground fault indicator? Or interrupter. Inter okay, okay. Close, right? Close. That's close. So anyway, guys, my microwave kept tripping this week. That's because it's on the same circuit as this. Yeah, and then eventually the outlets just died. My toaster stopped working and my Echo Show just shut off. Uh, but I could keep resetting it until just recently. Anyway, I don't know why they put a GFI 
That's a different circuit. Uh, so I still have a power on this side. You don't need a GFI next to a side that doesn't have any water. And obviously, it, it, it is it's, fried, right? It's fried, yeah. Because it let out a loud buzzing noise when it died. Anyway, uh, on a serious note, um, Joey, very, very sorry about your dad. Yes. That's, that's horrible and sad. I, I have no words to say, but you're in our prayers and... Definitely. And sorry, Joey. Sorry to hear that. Unexpected death in his family. Do not take life for granted. I said that before and Dad thought I said life. I said light. That's another thing we shouldn't take for granted. Light is so basic, like we're just used to flicking a switch. Some freak on the driveway. Is that Mom? Yeah, it's Mom. She's dancing. The neighbors are probably like, what is she doing? Yeah, I don't know why they put a GFI over there. There's no, you don't need a GFI there. Freak! Oh God, you sound like a smoker. <laughs> Happy Independence Day, kitties. Mom, come up here. No, I took a walk. Come up here. Okay. Come up here. Go Eagles. It's all about security up in here. You got motion alerts, cameras everywhere. I love the carriage house. Hello, Can mother. Wait, may I visit the carriage house? Hi, people. It tripped again. Yeah. So I was right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. I'm just trying to trigger dad. Uh, what what triggered me? I, I got a mac and cheese platter. I just Boom, chicka wow. Well. Boom, chicka wow. Well. What? Boom, chicka wow. Well. Boom, chicka wow. Well. Number one. And cheese the bites. outside. I have, okay, this little tester I have, yeah. you push a button, it tests a GFI. I'll show you, we'll, we'll test it with, with it. Where's it at? Downstairs in the potting shed. When you go down and put this back on, which you can do right now, bring it up here, and it tests a GFI circuit automatically. The fact that the shed, the outlet down there is not on a GFI, I'm gonna change, I got ants walking on me. I'm gonna change it out to a GFI, because anything outside related is supposed to be on a GFI. That's you, you have ants too, right, Mom? I hate mm -hmm. ants. I hate them. Screen. Yeah, David. Well, you don't normally see the screen like that because it's always on. <laughs> I love my Echo Show. Okay, David. What? Turn it on? Yeah, you're magic. Are you sure? Absolutely. I'm gonna go eat. Mr. Pants, how are you? Look at that tail wagging. Hi, Hunter. Hi. Good. Good. Right, Got me first. Good deal. Good deal. Smart dog. All right. So check this out. And I actually just experienced this off camera. It's lightning out, right? Well, you, you don't know that yet, but it is. We actually have a lightning detector right here. So watch, wait for it. And I gotta say, this camera's amazing at low light. It's lighter on camera, like right here, than it is in real life. The sky is not that bright. That's actually very interesting. And we'll just wait here for lightning. And then we'll look at the little device behind me. That's the AC. Bad timing. Bad AC. Oh, lightning. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Hopefully you heard it and saw it. I gotta say, it's not usually that instant. The lightning goes off and then it beeps maybe like a second later, but that time it was on point. All right, it's already 10.06. Breaking bed was great. Dinner was great. I believe I'm going to runners with Wama Mama. I probably shouldn't use those two words in one sentence, huh? Rudders and Wama. Anyway, uh, she wants tea, so I'll buy her tea. So in other words, I'm gonna be a little late tonight on Twitch, but that's okay, that's okay, it's Friday. And honestly, I'm not gonna see the pretzels that much this weekend, because I'll be away in Jersey all day tomorrow. It should start raining very soon, and the pretzels should be back very soon. They're down the show to Pizza City. Obviously, I stayed back to enjoy my sheets and my Breaking Bad, which, by the way, I just finished season five, episode two. It's almost done. Before we left, she had to go one more time, Jamie. Hey, you wet rat! Good luck. I don't. No, I like, don't trust her. As you are her. moist. We got stuck in a downpour. Yeah, and yeah, the we door did. went up and it runners. Yeah, the door got stuck at runners, <laughs> like an automatic door. So I had to manually and pry I was it open. Screaming and everybody looked it's at me so when funny. I walked in. There's a huge line in there. There were like oh, yeah. 10 people in line. Dave, they all looked at me when I walked in because I was screaming. Oh my god! Like, wow! Like, wow! Like, like, 
raindrops like oh, I didn't even have to ride. Oh, that you stayed in the truck. Exactly. <laughs> I gotta go online. He's licking my moistness. Pants. Don't Hunter, lick people's moistness. Hi. 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 Shoot. I really gotta get on Twitch. I can't do my thing tonight because the cattle. Ooh, blurry. It's dark now. It's dark. I'll give it. I'll give it a pass. Button. I'll give it a pass. She got my belly button. Damian. 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 Oh, I'm gonna miss you tomorrow. I know that. Oh, this is Jasmine's tech. She's got an Echo Spot. She's got a TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug. She's got a clever loop she has a pub. Really big leash. She's got this camera. She Damn likes man. David Foster and Friends. You're quite the tech geek. She likes David Foster and Friends. Uh, is that and Jackie Ivanka? Yes. Isn't that crazy? Whatever her name is. How, how old is she now? Right here. Oh, look at her. I read it. Is, is she still singing? I read it. I don't know that. Yeah. Really? As far as I know. Is she successful still? Is your girl still successful? Kelly? Ivanka Trump? Yeah, I think she's doing good. Ivanka Trump? <laughs> what? Kidding. I was going to say, that's What's definitely not Ivanka Trump. Oh, Kelly Casey. No, oh, this girl. Kelly Lyons. Oh, um. What's her name? Jackie, Jackie Ivanka. Jackie Ivanka. See? Uh, Jackie what are, what I call her? She's that little girl. I don't know. I don't even know what I call her. She's that little girl, guys. All right, I'm out. Why is this going on? Let me grab some Alki. I'm going for a walk. You idiot, it's raining. <laughs> doesn't make him an idiot. Oh, no, All right, I'm going to go out. Not outside. I'm going to go get my drinks. Oh, I got your Go next door. Did you snore? The low light performance drops frames a little bit, but that, that's normal for a camera this caliber. Speak English. Alright. Where are my drinks? Oh. I was gonna say, did Kristen take them all? We had more Bud Light Orange than that. There's only Twisted Tea. We didn't drink all six, did we? I'm sure those lushes did. Well, either way, I'm gonna have these tonight if I you don't mind. Home. <laughs> she would. And she probably did. That's okay. I'll drink these tonight. Did they buy them? And I'm drinking more. Of them. Yeah, they, buy them? yeah, they did. Well, then. <laughs> I don't know. The Bud Light Orange was actually pretty good. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text Kristen, yelling at her. Who keeps ketchup in the fridge? It says refrigerated after opening. No, I never do that. I never do, guys. Kristen made me do it. I wasn't going to. She says, "Mom, it says." Comment below, guys. Open. But fridge? It says on there. I know, I know it does, but fridge or no fridge, guys? Comment right below. I, fridge at yeah. house. I say no fridge, but mustard in the fridge, definitely. Put it away. Uh, okay, we don't have any Bud Light Orange. Did you eat any of the leftovers? Two hot dogs. Did you eat the ribs? No, three. No, I was freaked out. I don't like heating that stuff up. Did you eat the corn? No, I don't know there was. Oh, is that what, why it's so long? Yeah. I thought it was a really big hot dog or something. <laughs> You weirdo. <gasps> uh oh. We're all gonna die. Death and devastation. Hide in the bathtub. It's not that serious. It's just a lot of rain. Hide in the bathtub, Hunter. All right. Good night. Love you. Enjoy your gift Ooh. I got you. Tell him real Thank quick. Thank you. Wait, is, oh. is it here? Yeah. Show. All right. Show him. Yeah. All right. So, this is Mom's weekly gift from Target. They have like a front crafty section, and every week I get I get Mom a surprise. Every week. I can chalk it. I'm gonna put create on it. Yes, but look, you got little. Compartments. Yeah, that's a good word. Compartments. <laughs> I was gonna say compartments. Yeah. So you can chalk both sides, or yeah. I'm, I dare you to chalk like inspired. down here each nope. section. No. Inspire and create. Okay. How's that? Cool. Yeah. That's probably Danny. We all die. Some heck, son. I, th I think he wants me to sign on. <laughs> I'm coming, Danny. How he goes to Twitch. Um, nobody goes to Twitch. They go on Twitch. He goes on Twitch? You go to TwitchCon in October. Does he play? Can't wait for Except that. for you. I'm going. I was... Oh, no. What was the thing that was last weekend? Siege. Oh, okay, sorry. Which, by the way, apparently was very good. You're going to Twitch. I know. TwitchCon. TwitchCon. Not in San Diego. San Twitch Jose. Twitch I almost got on the wrong plane. Twitch that would have sucked. TwitchCon. Get it? Chuckacon. Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 3.55 a.m. Not bad, not bad. And yes, my room is very blue at the moment. Blue is bad for the eyes. Shout out to Angie Killers. She's pretty cool. She's playing some Fortnite. She was in my stream a lot tonight, so I gave her a host. Always feels good to host someone. Anyway, yes, it is nearly 4 in the morning. It is time for sleep. Hey, Maui. Hi. I know. Low light performance takes a hit. 
as it should, as it should of a camera of this size, you know, you know. But as soon as those lights come on, boom, look at that. Silky freaking smooth. Hi, Maui. Hey. You're so cute. You're so cute. All right, guys, I'm going to have a bowl of Lucky Charms. Because it's what I do late at night. I'm going to watch some kind of random movie on Plex. Because that's what I do as well. Good, good times tonight. We played a lot of Siege. A lot of Siege. And I actually started Borderlands 2 tonight with the crew. Yes, Borderlands 2. Not going to lie, I was not the biggest fan of the first Borderlands years ago. I know that's very rare to say. But I think it's mostly because I played by myself. Borderlands 2, I can already see it being a lot more enjoyable with friends rather than being alone. But even then, I don't know. I'm not completely feeling the game yet. It's fun. It's fun enough to keep going. I don't know if I'm going to stick with it um, like I do other games. But we'll see. We'll see. Hey, I got it for like $5 plus whatever shield tax they added to it because it was from G2A. I don't normally buy games from G2A. The site seems a little fishy sometimes. Um, but hey, five dollars plus some change, easily worth it. And on that note, good night. Tomorrow's a big day. Chris, Tiff, Josh, Penny, everyone, Steph. I'm gonna see you guys soon, and I'll get some of it on the vlog, of course. Good morning, everyone. Oh, well, hold on, hold on. Good afternoon. It's already 2:26. I wanted to leave by two. As late as 2:30. It's 2:30 now, so I guess I'm technically on schedule. Where's that cat? The cat was outside. Oh, there he is. You can't see him. He's in the bush. Anyway, I just want to say hello. Um, I'm going to try to vlog today as much as I can. Obviously, I'm going to be in the road for like an hour and a half. I'm going to try to come back tonight. I don't care if it's like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I just like being here, you know? You know? But uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. I will be showing Chris, Tiff, Josh, uh, Steph, Penny, like everyone very soon. Don't know how much I'm drinking. It depends if I'm staying the night or not. Be safe. Never, ever drink and drive. Seriously. Please don't. It's one of the stupidest things you could do. And I said it for a reason. Perhaps I'll talk about it in the future. Um, it's family history stuff. Not like immediate family, just someone I could have known. But thanks to a drunk driver. Anyway, positive vibes. Let's enjoy the day. I made it to the Swedesboro Wawa. Not a single problem. A little bit of traffic, but nothing too bad. Check it out. Well, I always got samples today. You know what that means. First days, baby. And I got a chicken quesadilla because I don't know what the dinner situation on situation is going to be like. First taste. Mmm. Mmm. Yo. Mmm. That's incredibly refreshing. <laughs> Very good. I, I, okay. Okay. I need to put you guys down. <laughs> There's a face I haven't seen in a while. Hi, Autumn. How are you? You look great. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. You are thick, though. You are thick. Hello, Shane. Hi. Oh, you're looking good. You're looking good. Oh my god, look at that depth of field. I think Mitzi is behind the couch. Autumn's playing with the fly I, I apparently let in. Mitzi? Hi, Mitzi. You see it right there? <laughs> Hi, Mitzi. Hi. Smokey's upstairs. I'll show him in a second. Where's Fireball? He was just down here. Fire. F ball. Sometimes the F stands for something else. If you know what I mean, it just sounds funny. There he is. Hey, Fire. How are you? Oh, you look so cute. You look the same. You do. You look great. It's 4.35, so between moderate traffic and four stops, I just picked up my Red's Apple Ale, it's not bad. Without stops and without traffic, you could probably do it in like an hour, 10, hour, 20 minutes. I'm telling you, I'm gonna try to do it tonight. I don't care if it's three o'clock in the morning. I love driving that night. Smokey's Roman. Hi, Smokey. Hi, Smoke. Hi. You look great. I don't know why his head's warm. Oh, uh, warm. Uh, brown. I think it's because he puts his head under the faucet. I mean, he, he's fine now. He's alive. He's kicking. Right, Smoke? You're a strong kitty. Hi, Smoke. Hi. Oh, my 
baby. Oh, you will always be my number one key. Never forget that, okay? Oh, it's okay. Look at him. Look at him. He wants to go down. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's always good to see Smokey, guys. He's old. He's very old. But he's fine. He's fine. He's just an old cat. I mean, it's no different than an old person. He just sticks around, which I love. And obviously, I'm very grateful. So, Smokey, keep it up, dude. Keep it up. All right, I'm going to eat. Now I'm all itchy. Then head right back out. I've, I've never been to Christian Tiff's new house. They moved within like the past two months. Uh, so this is my first time seeing it. So, and I have no idea where it is, so I'm definitely gonna have to Apple Maps it. Kissadilla. Hi, Penny. Hey. There's you. Say hi. Hey. Now look, look, look. Say hi. Hey. What's new? Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. Is it your birthday? Yeah. No, she lies. Come here. Come here. I missed you. What are you doing? Dramatic. You are dramatic. What's all over you? Why is your face dirty? I don't know how much I'm vlogging today. But here's Chris and Tiff's new place. Plenty of room. There's a living room on this side. This isn't this isn't their main TV. Those are my cubes. There are other TVs over there. Sam's like 65 inch. I'll probably show that soon. There's the living room. Very similar TV to mine. Slightly different. Very thin. Lots of Lego. Death Star. Boom. Also, if you look right here, this is Chris and Tiff's collection of like uh, figures, amiibo, all that stuff. Pretty cool. Lots of food. Hopefully, I'll get Chris. Chris, come here. The timing is impeccable. Fabulous. Impeccable. Is How are you, word? dude? I'm right. Happy exhausted. birthday. Thanks. How old are you? 32. Are you sure? I think. It looks like you thought of it. <laughs> I did. I don't keep track anymore. <laughs> I was going to say, because you're always behind me by like yeah. a few months, yeah. And I'm, I'm behind Tiff a few months too, and she's 33. Or she's 32 for a few months, then 33. So yeah, I'm 32. <laughs> you're so quiet, dude. I know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you just I'm, like, like went into like a full story. thinking about it. <laughs> so how, how's your new place? Is it good? It is. It's Freedom, right? Yeah. 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 Freedom. I was gonna try to show you guys the uh, gaming room, but Chris says it's not ready. It's not really a gaming room. It's like office. An office type slash work area. Come on, dude, show us real quick. All right. Thank you. Got, you gotta, you know, keep these vlog interesting. Who is that kid? Who? No, I was just saying for the vlog. Hallway. Office. Slash workshop. Oh, the audio in here is great. Since I don't have a base. There's, there's, like, there's like no echo. Because of the, the uh, pipeboard. Yeah. Guys, look at this. All these RCs. There's not even all of them. There's still some in the shed. It's a lot of weight, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. And PC back there? Yep. Your newest upgrade. Go. What, wasn't it a fan or something you said? With like matching lights or something? No, I think it's really upgrade. It's just, I think I, I matched that fan back there. It was yeah. a white bladed fan. But I okay, got the cool. black one to match everything else. It's a very big case. I haven't really upgraded in a while. Between that and like the keyboard. That's really all I've done. <laughs> Same keyboard, guys. Look familiar? Except his is like... Mint. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is mint, while mine's like sausage. <laughs> sausage? If you have to compare yeah. foods. How's this mouse? Is it good? Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't game too often, I, right? I, I, lately? I've this for a long time, actually. Like, probably from the Yeah, what is years. it? The Cooler Master Sentinel. Cooler Master. Is it cool? It's, it's actually worn. Like, this isn't how it's supposed to look. It's really worn off. I was going to say, it looks... Well used. Yeah, like this used to be all blacked out and everything. It's really, really worn. Eventually, yeah, I got to buy an Xbox controller for a PC. I, I, I have enough. But I want like one specifically yeah, for PC. It, yeah. I, I don't want just a white or black one. I want something like that, like a duo tone. I originally, I was originally using the PS4 controller, my old one. Was it okay? It, it worked okay. Like it, you have to actually run it like a program that kind of tricks. I was gonna say. I think Xbox I think controller. most PC games are created with Xbox yeah, controllers in mind. If it's not mouse and keyboard, but there, yeah. there's a program that'll it'll trick <clears> it into thinking it's an Xbox controller. Like it'll, it'll map the buttons for you and stuff. It actually worked pretty well. It, it, it worked fine, but when it when it does that, when it maps it, the buttons don't match up. So you have to kind of guess what button is what. Okay. But when you use an Xbox controller, it says, "Hey, X is X, Y is Y." Where yeah. It doesn't do that with the PS4 controller. But now that the one I was using, the this Blue, is the better. Blue sucked. That's way better. Yeah. yeah. But the, the Bluetooth sucks, so it always Oh, hey, out. Josh. How are you? Awkward. I'm invisible. Dude, you got that beard growing in. 
Watch it, boy. Do you do you comb it? I know. <laughs> do you do you ever comb it or no? Yeah. Okay. You think I got, it looks got, that fabulous by itself? Well, I was gonna say if if you don't comb a beard, would it look that bad or no? Oh, this fucker gets bushy. Really? And, yeah. And we're back. Oh, shit. Hey. Hi, Keith. Hi, Dave. That's such a manly <laughs> hi. Did you hear that? Hi. 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 Boy. You're drinking water, boy. <laughs> Look, this is my like. Well, you know, after two, so does water. Viewers, put some weight on that. Is like delightfully racist because we're all saying everything's people. racist nowadays, dude. Like uh, everything. This is racist. The PC world. Uh, dude, and I'm so offended. Chris, <laughs> how dare you? That PC snowflake is what Plex. <laughs> Not just Plex, but yeah. But mostly, mostly or music yeah. too. I watch Flex. Not music yet. It will be. What do you use Plex for? Friends. No. Are you no, what else? It, use it for movies for her because we have the P, we have the PS4s in every house now or every room porn, pretty much. Be honest. Definitely. Yeah. Porn, yeah, porn, definitely. Porn, 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 um, porn, and it's got an i3 in it, which is enough for that. Yeah, just to stream every files, I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, and yeah, any upgrades, or are you just gonna do as is? Nah, it can stay the way it is. Yeah. Let it sit in that little corner on touch. Might change the lighting because it's old school, like the blue CCFL <laughs> tubes. Couch. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah. It's old school tubes. Oh my oh, god. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. That's what that's what it is. That's, that's, that's funny. funny. I had so many old old kits of those lying around. I, just, I threw one in there just for some lighting. Oh my god. But I'll probably do the RGB. And I'm like, at some point. This couch looks so familiar. <laughs> your thoughts? It's probably still banging oh, though. That's all that matters. True. It's Oreos. It's gonna be awesome. What are you doing? All the time. It is going to be lady, awesome. It looks really lady good. Like. It's not the size that matters. Ah! <laughs> yes. yes. The memories. Oh. Dude, the freaking Wii was great. Yeah, it was. I, I, I loved it. I mean, I hated that it wasn't HD for so long, and it never was HD. But it didn't stop me from having fun. I mean, Nintendo doesn't put out great hardware, but it puts out great games, so... Yeah. Oh. Although I will say that Switch is really good. Oh my god, that sound. Oh. Dum. We're gonna play, play some <laughs> Smash. Some Melee. Oh. Oh. You excited, Keith? Oh, so excited. So. Oh. I think excited is an understatement. I know. Oh. Last time I played this was with them, I think, so... Okay, I'm gonna suck. Remote, stay, but it's okay, it's okay. Unfortunately, I, Brawl has I Meta Knight, so I, I can't play as Meta Knight. Uh, but I'll probably do his, like, Link or whatever. How will this end? So I won game one, this is game two. <laughs> Look guys, no wires. Incredible, right? That's incredible technology back in the day. I know. Oh, you think you got a big laser gun now? <laughs> Ah. Oh, that was stinks. <laughs> uh. Yes. Nice. GG. Whew. Bowser is so slow in this game. <laughs> Why do you start skipping these? That is very bright. All right, really, really good times. Here's a preview of their house. I gotta say, I'm quite jealous of that porch out front. That's really nice. I'd even vlog outside, but I'm sure I'm sure I'll be back in the near future. Chris, Tiff, Keith, everyone, thank you so much for a great time. It was amazing playing Smash with you guys. Um, I was just I was just telling them inside. Smash is the kind of game that never gets old. And honestly, if I would have played it like 60 or 70 years old, it would feel like the same old game. Um, and I actually won two games, two games. I'm not generally like insane at Flash, I'm decent. Flash, my god, David, Flash sucks. Um, I'm decent at Smash. I'm pretty pretty good here and there, uh, but it's no like Siege for me. Siege, I can kick ass left and right if I need to. Uh, anyway, Chris, Steph, thank you so much for a good time. And of course, Penny, it was great seeing you again. Not that you'll ever see this. Anyway, guys, it is 1.15 in the morning. I'm driving back to Strasburg. I'm going straight back. I have my stuff here. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I, I drank, but not to the point where I don't feel like myself. I would never, ever drink and drive. That's just something I don't mess around with. Trust me, I take that quite seriously. All right. Time to find a Wawa. I guess the local Wawa is not that far. Get some coffee. I should be back by like 2.30, 2.45. Definitely my latest driving back to Strasburg. But the good news is 
wide open roads. Put some music on, and I'm good. And just like that, it's about 3 a.m. Just got back a few minutes ago. Went next door to say hi, Mr. Pants, because he was barking. He's like, who's out there? Hi, Maui. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Come here. Meow. I fed your little cat friend outside because he saw him in the driveway. He's like, what are you doing up so late? Yeah, I rarely drive back this late. So, like I said, the big plus side, <coughs> excuse me, of driving back late is open road. Like, barely any traffic. It's a weird feeling when you're pretty much the only car crossing a major bridge. It's a very odd feeling, kind of like a I Am Legend vibe going on there, like the world is ending. Um, I don't know, it's just interesting to me. I don't really drive back this late that often. But um, at the same time, it's a very lonely drive. Me, I'm a people watcher. I just love watching other people. I, 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 love, I love observing all the cars going by and all that stuff. So yeah, there's definitely pros and cons of driving back at night. Uh, but yeah, easy drive, easy drive. Got coffee at Wawa, of course. Um, and I also got a mac and cheese, which I ate in the parking lot, which was great. Um, so, good times. Fun party. Not gonna lie, though, I feel so moist because I had my windows open and it's muggy outside, but I like my windows open. I like the air flowing naturally. Blessing my, like, Eminem and Dr. Dre. It's so good. Um, but, yeah, my skin feels weird, so I'm gonna take a shower, enjoy my coffee, and then go to bed. I'm actually on schedule for, like, a normal... You know, sleep time for me. I'm always up this late. So, with that said, thank you so much for watching. The vlog's not done yet. It's not done yet. It's done kind of soon, but I'll see you in the morning. Or, realistically, the afternoon. That's one big plus side of driving back here tonight, is that I can sleep in tomorrow here and wake up tomorrow here. That way I don't have to worry about driving back in the morning. So, why not? Happy Sunday, everyone. Turn that light on. Actually, while we're here, cooler, a bit of PM rain. Who talks like that? But yeah, another gloomy day. That's exactly why we did not go camping this weekend. It rained a lot last night. Hi, Maui. Happy Sunday, my Mau. Oh, burb. Oh my god, you look so good on here. And there's Jamian. She's visiting. Hi, Jazz. What are you doing? Hi. Look at us. Look. Look at us. Show off that face. Here, Jess. Justin, look up. The camera doesn't want to focus because you're not looking, Jazz. This has face detection. Let's test it. Fine, I'll go down here. Here, Jess. Justin. Okay. She cannot focus. I think her brain is short circuiting. Ugh. My baby. My baby. All right. Ugh. I'm going to make scrambled eggs. June 13th, that's plenty of time, plenty of time. Yeah, I really, I really need eggs. I just love eggs. Make some coffee, watch an episode of Breaking Bad. And then we'll see what else a day entails. I mean, I'm gonna be signing off soon, but still. Just wanted to show a little bit of John Man action on camera, you know? It's almost time. One of my favorite episodes is next. Dead Freight, easily in my top five of Breaking Bad. It is so, so good. Also, it's very interesting. There is some foreshadowing in season five, episode four, for season five, episode five. Um, Walt says something like, this train never stops or something like that. And that's definitely foreshadowing for Dead Freight. I'm telling you. If you're looking, well, I don't recommend jumping forward to this episode, but if you're looking for one episode to watch and you've never ever seen an episode of Breaking Bad before, watch season five, episode five, all right? Five, five. Um, and I think that'll give you an idea of how well shot this show is. The presentation's incredible, the characters are good, the writing is so good, the music's good. Like everything about this episode, I think, represents Breaking Bad as a whole. It's that. Good, and I'm so, so, so looking forward to watching it later today. I would watch it now, but I think we're getting ready to get rudders. Right, Jamian? Well, I don't think you're gonna rudders. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're so cute. You're so cute. Turban! 
Hi. Where's Maui? No, seriously, where's Maui? There he is. Hey, Maui. You chilling? You're so soft. You gonna go key? Rough day, I know, rough day. You got a lot going on today? No. It's all good, man. 50, 50 facts about Breaking Bad. The very last scene shot for Breaking Bad was a flashback in the van during the opening of Ozymandias. I Thank love so that. Much for God, the video, such guys. a good show. Please leave a like anyway, I got I gotta show you guys something. Man. Let me know. Uh, let me see. What is it? Uh, library. Watch history, right? Yeah, history. Where is it? This is the scene I was talking about. Watch. There you go. Methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We are not ramping down. We're just getting started. Nothing stops this train. Nothing stops this train. Nothing. Major, major foreshadowing for um, the next episode. Yeah, so that um, 50 things you didn't know about Breaking Bad or whatever. It's just fascinating. Just the way they time things. For instance, there are exactly 62 episodes. And the 62nd episode ends on the periodic table for some kind of element that treats lung cancer. And that's what Walt White has in the show. Lung cancer. That's what it's all about. That's why he starts making meth. Um, but the fact that they timed that with the periodic table of the 62nd element... That's fascinating. That's so cool. And of course, that's just the beginning. There's a whole other um, collection of puzzles that you can put together with foreshadowing in regards to the mid-air, um, you know, the plane crash and all that stuff. So, really, really good show. If you've not seen Breaking Bad yet, please give it a chance. Give it a chance. It's really good TV. 3.32. Just got back from Rudders. I'm not even that hungry. This is more so for later. At least most of it is. I got a five-piece chicken tenders. I'm telling you, Rudders has amazing chicken tenders. I don't know what it is. It's the oil they use, the breadcrumbs. I don't know. I don't know. But they're pretty damn good. But for now, I got chili with cheese. Basically, I'm going to be farting a lot. And I'm okay with that. Also got some buffalo sauce for my chicken. And some... Ranch. Rudders has good chili. Just saying. Try it. Sounds like an ad. It's not. But it should be. Bye bye bye. We barely saw you this weekend. I know. I know. I know. Next weekend's a normal weekend now. Yes. My condolences again to Joey and Mitch and his family. Yes. It sucks. Well, what are you going to do? I was texting Look at Hunter yesterday. behind you. I was texting Very sad. Yesterday. Oh, definitely. Very sad. I was texting Look at Hunter you. behind you. He's creeping. <laughs> gotta go. Peace. All right. Love ya. Be careful. See you next week. Bye, Wash you make sure this weekend? You get the belt. Get that belt replaced. Any, any email from that company yet? I have barely checked the email. I'll, ch I'll check when I get up. It's the weekend. I doubt it. We, are you really... If, if, say we hit a... Whatever. Are you definitely 100% set on a electric mower? You wouldn't want to get a gas? I don't like gas. It's gas loud. Gas is a lot more... Powerful. And, I don't like the emissions. And you'll you'll get goodbye. You get ten you. years out of it at least. Be careful. Bye. Just a bad circuit board. That's all. Bye. Peace. Bye. Wait. See you Thursday or Friday? Thursday. Thursday we don't Friday. we don't know yet. Probably put your finger. Right. See if any, oh, just put the camera in there. See if there's anything in there. Put it on the hole. Put the camera in the hole. Do the other side. I don't see anything. Right over here, over here, over here. This big hole right here. There's more, there's more over here. David, it's wide open. You look at one, Oh, the whole thing is. No, no, there's wood in between. Yeah, it's a sectional. Oh. I caught a bird in the bird feeder. Do it. My foot. Come on. See if you see birds going in now, though, don't David. What was that? Did you hear that? It sounded like a bird. David, for the last time, your foot would be crushed. Dad, I do it all the time with the Target shopping carts. It's a shopping cart. <laughs> his foot would be shattered. I'm kidding. That's the joke. I know.
What are you doing? And no matter how they fixed it, you would <laughs> You guys never, just getting here? No matter how they fixed it, you would never be the same. What are you doing? I gotta pee. Again? Yeah. You backed up to pee? You got the bladder the size of a pee. Don't let the dog out. Right there. Here, take this. <laughs> Let's go to runners. <laughs> the brake might be on. We're only putting seatbelt on to go down the driveway. Where's this brake? Uh, how do you? <laughs> <laughs> Watch the gate. <laughs> Can we get a runners? No, stop right here. You sure? <laughs> Put him in a park. Put him in a park. I know, I always no. go down there. By the way, I don't like driving trucks. Really? I don't like this big hood in front of me. I like being low on my Mazda. I love it. There he is, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> David, I used to think that, but now I love the truck. I get the small car and I want my truck back. Yeah. What's going on that side? Why are you over here? Oh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is the light? Come on, David. I got. I own you right now. I own you. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> you can't find it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he put his seatbelt on to go down the. Drive. I was gonna go to rudders. Now you're stepping on that muck. Don't it's talk. Like a muck. Yeah, muck was in my hand. I love muck. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Love you. Love Be careful. Bump me for good luck. Bye. Did you poo? <gasps> Gotta go. <laughs> See you guys. And now we do the dramatic walk away with the background shots. Peace. Good times with the family. Barely saw him this weekend. It was just one of those weekends I was in Jersey. But in a way, I look at that as a good thing for the vlog. Gotta mix it up, right? Going from environment to environment. Also, patrons, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, parade. That was a nice behind the scenes look, or not really behind the scenes, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, let's go say hi to Maui one last time on this fitness vlog. Then I'm signing off because I got lots of editing to do. Alexa, stop. Damn, Maui, you're jamming up here. You go key? You go key? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, it's 4.50. I gotta, hold on. It's 4.50. I gotta go. Tomorrow, Monday, is WWDC 2018. So, my fellow Apple freaks, enjoy. It shall be a big day between iOS, watchOS, macOS, and hopefully tvOS. I got a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. Um, in terms of new hardware, it's possible, it's possible. We might get a new MacBook Pro, and I'm very, very curious to see what they do with the Touch Bar, if anything. I mean, in my eyes, the Touch Bar hasn't been a huge success, um, and as far as I can tell, it doesn't really help a lot of professionals all that much, so I wouldn't be surprised if they killed it, but I wouldn't be surprised if they kept it, because Apple doesn't typically kill features that they introduce within just years. So we'll see, we'll see. And of course, I will be doing my coverage video once the keynote wraps. I will not be streaming it live on Twitch. Sorry, I will not be streaming it live on Twitch, but I will be live on Twitch beforehand with more gaming. Uh, maybe Stardew Valley, Fortnite, I don't know, I don't know. But I um, will definitely be live tomorrow morning. Actually, I'll be live every morning this week and every night this week. DavidsTwitch.com. Yes, it exists. DavidsTwitch.com. Check it out. And uh, this is just the beginning of something big I'm in the process of working on. I kind of gave you guys a teaser before. All right, gotta go. Thank you so much. Your support means a lot. Have an awesome week ahead. Be productive. Kick ass in the process. And I'll see you soon. Peace.